Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm super excited for today's video as I will be creating first nursery decorations for my baby. There will be more baby and nursery ideas in the future so don't forget to subscribe and now let's jump right into the first project. <laughs> To create frame for my new poster, I take a thin piece of wood, which is curved on one side, and measure 4 times 30 cm long pieces. Then I cut them. You can always use ready pieces or use hand saw. Instead of paper, I will be using backside of the leather fabric. I thought it's more durable and I like the texture of it. I find clean piece which I will iron later on. My wood pieces are 30 cm long and I want the fabric to be slightly narrower. I mark the points, draw straight lines and cut it out. The fabric will be held by two pieces of wood, it will go in between them. So I measure how much space this will take and divide rest of the fabric into five equal rows and small gap between them. Using pencil I start sketching the letters of alphabet. I try to fit each letter between the rows I've created. The downside of this fabric is that I wasn't able to remove the pencil marks later on. It was just spreading in all over and making worse. But I had to make it, otherwise nothing would be in straight line. So I've divided the whole alphabet into five rows. To paint them, I will be using six different colors of acrylic paint. Some of them I mix with white paint to make slightly lighter shade. Fabric absorbs some amount of the paint, so it's much harder to paint on it than it would be on the paper. I try to keep the lines nice and straight. I did the one color first and then moved to the next one. I've also changed the brush for one with slightly harder and a shorter hair. Once all the letters were painted, I left them to dry. Meanwhile, I took two wooden pieces and marked where I wanted the string for holding to go. I'm taking macrame coat and staple it to one of the wood pieces. I cut it shorter and unravel so it becomes flatter. To attach the fabric to the wood, like also two wood pieces together, I'm using Gorilla Glue. I put thin line in the middle of the stick. First, I place the fabric down and then cover it with another piece of wood with the glue. I take small clumps and clamp it all together as this glue expands when drying. I repeat the process with the bottom part of the poster of course, I don't attach any string to it. I'm not 100% happy with the result. I like the idea and the frame, but the writing could be done much better than it's now. I have 
this white lampshade from Charity Shop. I thought that instead of buying new one, I can change the look of this one. I start with covering it all up with 3mm thick macrame coat. It will cover all the imperfection this lampshade has, plus it gives it more of the boho vibe. I glue the beginning of the rope to the inside of the lampshade and then start wrapping it around. The top part is smaller than the bottom. I have to make sure the rope is very tight and close to each other at the top and with the bottom I will spread it out evenly later on. From time to time I add drop of the glue so the rope stays more secure. It will take a while to cover the whole surface and also you will need a lot of meters of this rope. And once it's all covered I spread evenly the rope on the bottom part of the lampshade. I had few ideas for this project, but at the end I decided to just add the pom-poms. I'm going with beige color yarn, which will be nicely seen on the color of the macrame coat. I will make two different sizes of pom-poms, and to create them I will use pom-pom maker. It's just quicker and easier to do, but don't worry if you don't have one, you can make pom-poms without it. I bought my makers long time ago and I've used it few times already, so it wasn't a pointless purchase. First half of the maker I rub very thick as I want the pom-pom to be fluffy. And as I will be gluing them to the flat surface, the other half of them don't need to be so thick. I secure it and open the maker. I always struggle with giving the pom-pom perfect shape. I trim it all around but it's never perfect. All together I've made 5 small and 5 big pom-poms. I will glue the big ones on the top of the lampshade and small ones on the bottom. To spread it evenly I measure the circuit of the top part and divide it by 5 which gives me 15 cm gap between each pom-pom. To attach them I'm using hot glue. Once they are attached, I go along with my scissors and give them the final shape. Hope you enjoyed today's video and projects. Don't forget to leave the thumb up if you did. And if you don't want to miss future nursery makeover and baby projects, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.